What's up, y'all? Hope your week's going pretty good thus far. Uh, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Bubba's Smoking Hog Barbecue. Um, what we got on the lineup today, we're continuing the tailgate recipes um, from my last video, the smoked and grilled brats. But what we have today is um, a perfect tailgate recipe, one of my absolute favorites. They go hand in hand with each other. What we're going to be making is some grilled wings and some jalapeno poppers or referred to as atomic buffalo turds however you want to look at it or mention it um again this is one of my favorite recipes something that i very much enjoy cooking and eating um throughout the football season um for sure another note that i want to make is uh definitely some sad news um this week um, fellow YouTuber um, and honestly a mentor of mine um, he this individual um, really got me into my love for barbecue and for cooking um, but Phil from Phil and Florence um, had the unfortunate news of him passing this week uh, my thoughts and prayers are with Janet and the rest of his family um, definitely you know, wishing for you all comfort and peace during this time. Um, Phil was a real genuine down to earth type of guy and he will be uh, forever rem remembered. Um, and definitely is a tough news. So uh, definitely wanted to send uh, that message out. Um, but y'all stay tuned uh, for the rest of the video with the wings and jalapeno popper uh, recipe. So here's our ingredients for the jalapeno poppers. This is how I make my jalapeno poppers. Um, I always go with um, lower sodium bacon. Um, this is just my personal preference, but I would recommend, um, just from my own experience, use like natural cut bacon, just regular bacon, thin cut bacon. Um, I wouldn't use the thick stuff because it's harder to wrap around your jalapenos and it doesn't seem to cook all the way through um, and get us crisp all the way through. So we got the bacon. I've got a block of some cream cheese I've been sit letting sit out. It's gotten softened. Um, got a bowl of some sharp cheddar cheese that we're gonna pour into the mixture. I got about half a roll of some breakfast sausage that I browned up. We've got six fresh jalapenos that we'll be using today. And into the mixture we will put in some Cholula hot sauce, some granulated garlic powder, and some of the Meat Church Voodoo Rub. Holy Voodoo Rub is what we'll be putting in. So I'm going to get all this mixed together um, in my bowl and um, we'll be back and I'll show you how to make one of these jalapeno poppers. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you now how I prep uh, one of these jalapenos um, for our jalapeno poppers. So I've cleaned these off, rinsed them off in some water. Uh, what you wanna do is get you a good sharp knife. And these still have the stems a little somewhat on them. What I typically do is I just go right down the middle, slice these jalapenos like so or they're halved and an important note to make I know I'm not using best practices here at this video anytime you're cutting into peppers or de-seeding or removing the membrane I would encourage you to wear gloves but since I don't have any gloves um, I'm definitely once I get through um, Deseeding these, getting the memory out, washing my hands immediately afterwards because you definitely don't want to touch these jalapenos and then touch something else and it's going to set you on fire. So that is my recommendation. But like I said, I typically next I grab a spoon and then what I do is basically just go in to the jalapeno and dig out all the membrane, the seeds, pretty much 
everything that's going to call you know the heat in this pepper now if you like extra heat that's kind of your thing by all means you know leave the membrane in there leave some seeds in there but at the end of the um once you get through the end of the uh, clean this out your pepper should look like this okay so i'm going to finish up doing the rest of these peppers cleaning them out and then i'm going to show you how we stuff them and then we wrap them in bacon so all right y'all we've got all of our peppers uh, de-seeded and removed the membrane now i'm going to show you how we assemble one of these jalapeno poppers so we've got our mixture mixed as you see here with all of our ingredients so take you a spoon what you're going to do is basically going to fill your pepper with our mixture try to get everything down into the pepper once everything is into the pepper like so I'm going to take a strip of bacon and I'm going to wrap around our pepper like so try to get a nice tight wrap and get the entire pepper wrapped in this bacon as you see there and then I just like to secure everything with a toothpick so I'll come in here on the side and just secure the bacon to the jalapeno and that's all you have to do to assemble your jalapeno popper. So I'm going to get the rest of these assembled and setting over here on my tray. Um, when I get back, all these will be assembled and we'll show you what we're doing next. Well, we're back. So all of our jalapeno poppers are assembled here as you can see. Um, got them wrapped in bacon, stuck a toothpick through them. And then what we have here is our chicken wings portion of today's cook. So what I have here is roughly about uh, four pounds of chicken wings um, these are jumbo wings that I picked up uh, at my local meat store so what we're gonna do is we're gonna season these wings once again with the meat church holy voodoo rub so we're gonna do a nice coat of this seasoning on both sides and once we get it seasoned we're just gonna let them sit here and air dry to let that skin get nice and crispy or help the skin excuse me to get nice and crispy once cooking today so for today's cook you all we're going to be going on the weber kettle um i'm going to be going on with some royal oak all natural briquettes so we get our bag open here like so We'll pour under our chimney about three fourths the way full. I've already got some charcoal in here from a previous cook still. That should be plenty. Because the way we're going to be setting up the kettle today is we're going to be using the char basket to place them in the center um, and to cook somewhat indirectly, allowing that heat to shoot up against the dome straight up and then you know spreading out amongst the cooking grate to the chicken wings um it'll be high temperatures but it'll be cooking indirectly so i'm gonna get this chimney full of coals light it up and once they get nice and hot oh my thing will light there we go once these coals get nice and hot we will pour them into our char baskets So we'll get our tumbleweed starter lit up. Then we're gonna place our coals right above it. Like so. We'll be back once these get nice and hot. All right, y'all, our charcoal is nice and hot and flaming. So we're gonna go ahead and get it dumped into our char baskets. So we're just gonna lift it up. As you can see here. Get our char baskets assembled here in the center. Like so. Now we're just going to dump our coals into the baskets. A 
y'all our grill has come up to temp we're just below 500 degrees is what's reading on the gauge here for all that um, centralized heat hitting the dome and then radiating off to the side so we're going to go ahead and put on our food I poured a little foil sheets down here just to catch some of the excess grease um, especially from the bacon so we're going to go ahead and start placing these on the grate been about 10 minutes since we got all the food on the grill y'all so let's go ahead and take a look where we're at ah, smoke got mine just wanted to let you know too i put a chunk of hickory wood right in the center to give a little smoke flavor we got some good color going on i'm gonna go ahead and flip these wings Get all these flipped. Get some good even cup uh, cooking on both sides. And we'll come back and check on them here in about another 10 minutes. It's been about another 10 minutes, y'all, so let's take a look at everything. Probably gonna give it another flip. Ooh, these things got a great color. Our smoke of wood still smoldering. So we're gonna give these another flip, y'all. So I'm gonna flip all these over and come back in about another 10 minutes and let y'all see what we got. Apologize, y'all. My sound wasn't working for this portion of the video. Uh, but this is about 30 minutes into the cook. Um, I had checked internal temps on the chicken wings and they were reading about 180 degrees. Um, so they were perfect. Um, the jalapeno poppers as well. The bacon got really crisp. Cheese started oozing out. So they were fine. And as you can see here, the chicken wings were juicy. They had a nice crispy skin to them. Um, and they were looking awesome, y'all. Um, so I went ahead, took everything off the grill here, got it plated up. Um, to bring inside and uh, we started digging in after that all right y'all we've got our wings and jalapenos brought inside here take a look at that man do they look good y'all they look tasty so what i'm gonna do next is i've got a little bit of frank's red hot for my wings I'm going to soak them in a little bit of Frank's Red Hot. I'm not going to do those with all of them because my wife, I don't think she likes the extra heat. But what we're going to do is just put in about six of these wings into a bowl. Probably do a mixture of both the drummies and the flats. Like so. We're going to pour in. Some Frank's Red Hot. Oh, better yet, just take the whole cap off. There we go. There we go. Not a whole lot. Don't want to make them soggy. Just enough to get them coated. We're just going to toss them now in our bowl. Like so. Take one of these bad boys out. I like drummies myself. So, I'm going to dig into one of these. Look at that, y'all. Looks good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is tasty, y'all. Man. That meat church, the holy voodoo rub, is amazing on these chicken wings. Definitely ain't gonna do a go-to for those for sure. Um, going further for future tailgates and everything. Now I'm gonna dig into one of these poppers. Man, I love poppers, y'all. It's still piping hot. Hopefully this doesn't burn me. We'll see. So take the toothpick out like so. Ooh, ooh. Mm. Mm. Cheese oozing out a little bit. 
That's good. That is good. Well, once again, thank you for tuning in for this week's uh, episode of Bubba's Smoking Hog Barbecue. Uh, once again, we did my uh, recipe of some jalapeno poppers and some grilled wings, one of my favorite recipes um, for tailgates. Um, thank you all. Stay healthy, stay safe, and wish you all the best. Thanks. Bye.